Hi everyone, this is Cheryl and I'm with Coker Daisy on their design team and today I'm going to show you how to use a 12 by 12 or even an 8 and a half by 11 sheet page protector to make a shaker box for your personal rings. You can actually incorporate this idea into any size uh, planner that you are using, but I happen to be using a personal ring size rings and I am using a 12 by 12 page protector and a fuse tool, but I will also at the end show you how you can do it with just a page protector and some washi tape. First thing I do is you need to plug in the fuse tool and make sure it's heated up. And I also like to make sure that I have uh, some items that I want to place inside the shaker box or uh, shaker dashboard. And that can be glitter. And this came in with the memory keeping dashboard this month. And I think it's really pretty. So I'm going to put these off to the side. And for personal rings, your insert is going to be 3.75 inches by 6.75 inches. So I've already cut off a corner. And I like to start off on an easy corner and use one where it's already sealed on two of the sides. So then all I need to do is seal a couple more sides. So let me sit down here and measure this out. And I went ahead and I pulled the sheet of paper here so that you could see basically this is the open side that what you want to do is measure a border that's going to be just on the outside of where the holes are going to go. So by using a cutting board that already has all of the grid markings on it, you can easily find where you're going to want to put that seal. And I want it to be about half an inch from the edge and the fuse tool actually comes with a tool so that you can run this right down and have it make a straight edge. Now one thing you have to get in the habit of doing is making sure that you don't run it too quickly because if you do you're not actually going to get a good seal. And as you can see here I have a gap because I did it too quickly. So I'm gonna line that right back up, place this right back over and go a little more slowly. The other thing you um, want to do too is make sure you don't go so quickly, or so uh, slowly I mean, that you actually burn right through the plastic. So let's just find a happy medium. I'm going to check it for gaps, and I still see one down here. So what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to eye it. And just carefully run that. I see another one right here. I 
can check it with my fingers. And it looks like it's sealed this time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my sequence. And then we want to close the top because it does no good to have them in and have them fall out. I think I did the top a little better here. So I think you can see how it's sealed, just like the bottom is. And then what we want to do is hole punch it so that you can actually put it in your planner. And what I have found is punching plastic is not an easy thing because it likes to get stuck. So what I've been doing is sandwiching it between the paper to help it pop out of the rings mechanism. I've got two that are still. And I'd like to show you how, for the people who don't have the fuse tool or access to it, that you can actually do something very similar, but by using just washi tape. So what we're going to do is, again, cut off a corner. I'm going to measure so this is the open side. I'm going to measure all the way down, 3.75 inches. Put this side off. And then this should be 6.75 inches long. And you can literally just seal the edges, the open edges, with whatever washi tape you want to use. And since it's the holidays, I thought we would use something festive. Again, we can put inside some snowflakes. And I think the colored sequins are towards the bottom here. Put some of these in here. And you can find page protectors like this at any hobby store, Craft and Hobby Store, Michael's Hobby Lobby, any of those stores. And then we're going to just seal the top. Okay, 
and you can mix and match your washi. It doesn't all have to match up. You can throw in die cuts inside. In fact, let me show you in here a few of the other that I have. So like this is actually a page protector. It's a insert a divider that is made out of laminate that I got from a friend on Instagram and I put in what I received with the memory keeping kit and then I sealed the top so that I can reuse it. I sealed the top with the washi tape. I, I also use these dividers with just pattern paper. And then in here, I also used the vellum die cuts that came with this past month's kit so that you can see, um, just adds that extra. I think that, oh, I used these and I glued them down on the trees like ornaments. Ah, Jennifer Miller Crowder also did this using the fuse tool. I think she has a video. I'll have to link that in my blog post for you. And so instead of making it into a shaker box, what we did is we added the die cuts and I gave him a fluffy tail. But you'll see there's all kinds of things you can do in addition to making a shaker box or a shaker divider. So I hope this gave you some great ideas and of course you can always ask me for more information in the group and if you do, um, if you are not already a subscriber and would like to subscribe, make sure you list my name in the notes when you subscribe to Coco Daisy that um, I sent you and you will get a $10 off coupon in for the next month. So thank you very much for watching.